For those of you contemplating upgrading from RMS to RMH, we wanted to take a few minutes to show you the differences and similarities between the two programs. On this computer, I have installed RMH and RMS. We can see both programs have an administrator, both have a manager, and separate point of sale program. RMH, however, has also has a separate stock take application and loyalty. Stock take replaces the physical inventory feature in RMS. The loyalty manager tracks customer loyalty points as an option if you want to turn that feature on. So we'll go into the software programs and do a brief overview of the manager and point of sale. I'll open the manager program. Just like RMS, it opens up with an ID and a password, which I'll enter in my ID. And as the manager program opens up, we can see the different navigation across the top and down the left side and it's broken up the merchandising customers inventory tools if we look at merchandising we can see items which is what's opened up in front of us if we want need to go to a different part of the software let's say we need to open departments we can see that if we need to go look at customers we can go and see our customer list and if you notice it opens up a series of tabs across the top as you go from one part of the software to the next makes it easy and convenient jumping back and forth. If we go to an item in the system and open up an item properties by double clicking the item, it's going to open up a, the item properties window which is, looks very much like RMS. Item lookup code, description, extended description, sub descriptions, item types, departments, categories, pricing. Look across our tabs seeing how they look similar pricing tab discounts commissions if we jump out of the inventory and go look at our tools or a journal we're going to see the same type of journal capture that RMS does where we can go in and view past journals Look up past reports. In reporting, reporting is a little bit different but very similar. If we look up sales, we can see the same sales reports that we're used to, inventory reports that we're used to. If I open up the detailed sales report, we get our filtering, same type of filtering. And when we generate a report, looks a little bit different but very similar in our totals we have different things we can do we can change around columns we can email the report out we can reorganize it we can memorize it we can sort it so all in all a very similar product as to the RMS manager now we'll go and open up point of sale and one of the nice things they did about point of sale is that they kept a lot of the same keystrokes. So example, F2 pulls up inventory, F7 pulls up customers. And there are some differences, and you'll see here momentarily as it opens up, but it will open up just like RMS point of sale, and then I'll ask for an ID and password first. So we'll key that in. <clears throat> now with the program opening up, we can see at the top, this is our, our field where we're going to scan in inventory items. We see some information across the top. One of the things you can do, you can alter the appearance of the program, whether from a light to a dark color. From here, we can scan items in. This is the main body where items will, be run, sh will show up. We have the task pad, very similar to what's in RMS. You can create different types of task pads got our totals and then our navigation to the software to these menus at the bottom like I said F2 inventory lookup if we add an item to our sale brings up the same type of out-of-stock message like RMS we can see the item in the transaction if we need to alter the item we can click on action and from here we can change the price we can change the quantity apply a discount to the line item if we needed to.
but down at the bottom of further navigation we have customer again F7 just like an RMS transaction we can get into the journal F4 F12 the tender of sale so it makes it very easy to train existing staff into RMH quotes work orders layaways discounts different options from here and then this is where we have our opening amounts closing amounts X and Z reports if we go to complete the sale how's somebody gonna pay for it just do cash and the system can then print as well one new feature that's in RMH it can also has the option to email a receipt but has a very similar flow to Microsoft RMS, again, making it very easy to train existing staff with the product. If you have any questions about upgrading from RMS or any other POS need, please contact us at 404-352-3587. You can send us an email at newroll at newroll.com or visit our website, www.newrawpos.com.